Let's get this party started. What's up, guys? What's up, Jets? How's uh, how's Jiu-Jitsu today? No gi. Well, um, I am a no gi fan. We just got done, and we missed you. But um, no gi is always good. It's different. The gym that we're in predominantly focuses on gi, and my background was mostly no gi, and the transition to gi has been a good journey, but I, it's kind of like your first love. I love Nogi, even though we get it a couple of times a week. So it went really well. Yeah. I, I love Nogi. Um, I try to do Nogi twice a week at yeah. least. Right. And so since there's only one Nogi, we do Sundays, right? Right. Obviously. Sundays. Um, but yeah, I felt really good today. Yeah. We missed yeah. you, dude. We missed you there. I know. Yeah. I know. So real quickly, just for a listening audience out there. Thank you. Thank you for missing me. Okay. I appreciate it. Do you prefer gi? That seems it's like a really polarizing thing. Is it gi or no gi? Literally on the way over when I stopped, um, I think I was waiting as we we're getting some snacky snacks before the podcast. I think Craig Jones put out something that gi is now effing dead. Like it's mm-hmm. all about no gi. And yeah. then there's always like this. It just seems like there's this thing. It's just gi or no gi. There's not a lot of people that love both but so i'm going to ask you a question real quickly gi or no gi why kind of old school with that i love no i mean i love gi mm-hmm. i just love gi i love the the thought process behind the gi um side because it, it, it makes you slow down you have to slow down you have to think you, you get you have an opportunity to think two three moves ahead to see what's coming or what you can do uh, in nogi, it's just all fast, slippery. Let's go. So yeah. it's it's yeah. I mean, it's fun as well. Uh, as long as you don't have you know somebody like T uh, rolling, <laughs> where yeah. you go to hug his leg and it feels like you're hugging his torso. <laughs> tree trunk, right? Yeah, 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 he's a tree T trunk. T being yeah. a former NFL linebacker. Yeah, linebacker. Yeah. 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 Six whatever, two hundred whatever, most athletic build. So him and nogi is. Uh, Tornado. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. He's, he's sweaty too. He's a sweaty boy, and he's slick. Super slick. Mm. Super slick. He has Strong. like no hair, yep. and no so it's like yep. what? What the fuck? <laughs> so it's one of those things. He and moisturizes then, or something, dude, because he's like <laughs> slipping and sliding all over that mat. <laughs> he's, a, he's applying right? vitamin E body lotion yeah. on himself in between rolls, <laughs> lubing up. <laughs> and I've uh, also. Um, a lot of uh, injuries, injuries to the face, elbows, accident, you know, knees. So I like it. I enjoy it. It gets my adrenaline going for sure. Gi yeah. gets my adrenaline going. Um, no gi. It's very calming and soothing. You can't so. paper cut in no gi. I, I have. You have? I have. How, how do you do that? I do. Show me. I do. Show me how you do I it. Will. What's, what's the... I will. It's the same, but... You're just uh, hooking under the yeah. armpit or something. Yeah, you still or go armpit. under the armpit and oh. you you just grab on to the trap, mm-hmm. and then the other one grabs the trap over the you top. Come down that way. Come oh. down. Oh. Spring down on the throat. Oh, look at that. Now, if you have like huge traps, yeah, yeah, because you can't. You need a handle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you guys drinking? We have a couple of drinks. Gatorade here. and Lee. I have a diet because I'm trying to cut weight for the tournament next week. We got lean body, which actually that's another topic. You're trying like, to cut weight? I have an idea. Yeah. Power up, dude. It's time to power up. Let's, have a, pressure. let's power up. Okay, as he powers us up, Johnny, um, for you, you said no gi. Why? I, I actually haven't answered yet. Yeah, I don't yeah. like you putting words in my mouth. Okay, actually. so would it be gi or no gi? <laughs> I, I'm... I'm starting to like both, actually. I'm really happy with both. And I think the reason that you don't find point. that many people that like both is because they're not going around talking about it. Whereas the passionate people for no gi or gi are super talking about it all the time. I actually really like them both. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, gi, no gi, obviously, because I have a little bit of wrestling background and I'm just slipping and sliding everywhere. Mm-hmm. Look how pretty that is. That. Guinness that. is always so can, pretty. Can we get a close up on this? Can we yeah, close up no. on it? Maybe right there. Yeah, lift it up. Oh, we can put talk it about on, put it, Lift it up and put it on my camera. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Yeah, on my camera. Right here, right here. Ooh. No, 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 this, this Ooh. one. This oh, one. Right here. Mine. Right here. Mine. 
Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah, there it goes. Yeah. Oh, that one right Ooh, there. That one. Oh, oh with the uh, the focus. Oh, look at that. The autofocus. Yeah, oh, mm, salute. Look at that. that little drizzle, wow. dude. Just a nice. Are we little seriously drizzle. like super <laughs> focused and distracted? This is like on... a '90s lava lamp. <laughs> look at it, right? Uh, Did you guys have lava lamps back in back in your day? Uh, here we go. Oh, How many minutes are we into this already, old people? Just yeah, thank I'll, you, I'll, Johnny. I'll do this. One. I'll do this. One. Back then, we had lava lamps, but we had to make our own lava lamp <laughs> with actual lava. With actual lava. <laughs> Here you go, here you go. From the, from the geyser. <laughs> Top it off. So what do you like about it? Oh, pour, pour, oh, pour, that's pour. Right here. Yeah. Pour, you got to so pour. So as you pour, what do you like about the ghee? Uh, I like the um, – I'm starting to learn the grip game, mm -hmm. actually. The grip game was really hard for me to get used to, and you know, I was trying to basically just muscle through all the grips that people would get on me. And now I'm starting to actually use them, and I'm like, oh, crap! This this lapel, this you know, collar is actually useful me. for stuff, right? So yeah, you know, sensitive guy over here. You, all of a sudden, what's you know on? what's cool about uh, gi? That when you go to grab, when somebody grabs your sleeves or your grips, you can uh, guess what you can do. You can grab theirs as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's if you remember. So if, if they grab you, boom, you grab them too. Now you're both locked in there. Yeah, so it hadn't really occurred to me until like a couple of weeks ago. And they're like, dude, grab grab your own grips, right? I'm like, oh, shit, sure, okay. Yeah. yeah. And I'm still dealing with that as Ooh. a grape juice. Um, let's salute so here. so pretty. Hey, cheers, guys. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Try not to spill cheers, all cheers. over the all over the electronics. Yeah. That's yeah. another thing I'll put on our list. It's just why is it just such a human thing just to enjoy oh drinks gosh. and food with people nah, that's great this is so good that's so yeah. good i missed that's it i'm so a good. huge guinness fan i'm sure i'm gonna make weight now but for me i started um i had judo and then when i was a teenager and i was i was decent at it i, I enjoyed it and then how, know, how long did you do judo because you talk about doing judo but i, I never found out how long you did it like it's hard um i would say maybe it's hard to remember because of your age thank you that's, <laughs> it's a, I'm it's a lifetime tally. ago <laughs> a lifetime ago that's already two times okay a, oh, a, we're keeping a, count of how many a, times we reference will be next. <laughs> he set it up that was way too easy you set us up, you you set so, us up. <laughs> so um probably six to eight years mm, actually wow. my coach six to eight years huh well, how, how, old were you, how old were you when you started? I probably, well, what happened was... What had happened? With my mom <laughs> and my stepdad raising four The gravitational boys. pull of they the Earth's put us something. hemisphere was not in line. And yeah, <laughs> back when Pluto was a planet, <laughs> back in my day. Go ahead, sorry. Right. Well, All back right, in sorry. my day, we thought the world was still flat. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and the sun went around us. <laughs> Oh shit! Was it that long ago? Yeah, Galileo. Galileo really? was a hot was a hot item. Dude, you should have seen our little town when there was eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone worshiping harvest gods. moon. The harvest, harvest moon, moon, right? We had great festivals. We were sacrificing things. Did they drink blood? Did they have beer then? What kind of beer? Or was well, it wine? It was ale. Just wine. Ale. Mead. It was mead. They had, they had mead. 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 Yeah, we, what's your actually? What's your favorite? What's your favorite beer? For like, um, what you about you? For for me, it I'm a foodie. As you know, it depends. I'm the guy who has different hot sauces for different foods. So for beer, it's a pairing. It depends on the situation and who I'm with. What for, if? Uh, give me a situation. So sophisticated. Yeah, but pickle. What's the best? <laughs> <laughs> What's the best? You got a beer. Of you, pickles, natural natty what ice. What do you go for? <laughs> yeah. Go for natty. Natty ice warm. You have a big. <laughs> you have an eight ounce pickle or eight inch or whatever mm -hmm. pickle. Is it spicy or regular? No, just a regular okay. pickle. And then you have a beer. What would you pair it with? Natty ice. Natty ice. I'd pair it with something strong, <clears throat> maybe something really hoppy, actually, like a really strong, Ooh, yeah, ten percent beer, because that pickle's it's gonna sour. Yeah, it's Ooh. gonna it's gonna go down nice. Hey, my, I wonder my, if anybody's done that. Like, we could try that next. I I just Let's want. It, I don't want it. a beer to overpower the the experience of eating the pickle. The pickle. Oh shit! <laughs> what about a pickle flavored beer, kind of like? Mm. 
like a sour. I bet you they have. I bet you they have some pickle flavor. I'm going to do research. Uh, I wouldn't. Yeah, cool. let's look that up. Hey, Jamie, Joey. Johnny, Joey. Joni, jo- Joberish, <laughs> Jomi, 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 Jomi. Look that up. There is. Bring this up. There has to be. There has to be. So, real quickly for the viewing audience, we have. He's using his is that non-preferred uh, search engine. Is that really no? That's vodka. That's sour pickled oh, vodka. This is sour pickled beer right here. Maybe we should buy that and wow, look at that. That actually. Oh yeah. That's not bad. Actually, it looks good. Oh my god! Yeah. I just kind of. I didn't. Let's order I thought I made order, it up. Let's we can order, order a box. Near, and there's one right down the street from us. We could do that for the next show. Best made pickle beer. Oh, that would be your favorite. But then we have I to bet. think, I, like a Guinness, you can have solo. Like you, just because to me, Guinness is like a meal. It, it's, it's just. Did you know that really this is a really bad. light beer, by the way, calorie wise? I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Does it say? Like how many calories would it be? It's, a, it's like a Corona or less than no. a Corona. 125. Yes. <laughs> 125 for that? That was surprising. I would have guessed. What and would you a have big, guessed? And it's a big beer. Yes. I would have guessed yeah. like three something, like a soda. I would have no. guessed like two something, yeah. yeah high 200. Yeah, 200. Yeah. No. I never thought. Hey, look at <laughs> try with a little chocolate. Have, have you guys tried the little Toblerone? Yeah, yeah. yeah Toblerone. 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 Have a little Toblerone. Um, I've seen it, but I think, been, J- I think I've been J- pronouncing it. Jabroni. Talk about a um, pairing. No, um, so yeah, chocolate and chocolate wine. and Guinness. There you go. Okay, I've never had that. Okay, what's in the tip? T- 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 I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm top just, of yeah. jabroni. Where is this from? Oh, Switzerland. It has to be good. And I'm not mm. trying to mm-hmm. not make it's nice, just right? they're good for. So I, I was I was trying to make this maybe a thing where you know maybe every once in a while we bring in something a little interesting and snack on it and talk about it and, you know with a little beer pairing right mm-hmm. beer pairing with the tap room mm-hmm. you're right mm. i got the signage and i got the uh we're gonna have a little that's so awesome a little tap i'm so right excited mm-hmm. i'm so excited for that yeah for the viewers out there we uh provisioned oh, a Sign called the tap room. A little play on words there, if you can figure that out. Tap, so jujitsu, tap, beer, tap. I took tap dancing last when us. I was little. Lassons. Lassons. <laughs> I had a sip. Those are the <laughs> trifecta, <laughs> the tap trifecta right there jujitsu, beer, and <laughs> dance. <laughs> so, my mom has been great when we were little. And she's an immigrant oh. from the Philippines. She wanted us to have a lot of experience. Like Joseph. Do. Yeah, Joseph. Joseph. So, um, three, my, two, my, well, I have one brother that's four years younger than me. So it's my brother and another brother a year younger and one ten. But it was me and my closest brother in age. And we were like six and five. So she wanted us to be cultured. And so we were going to take tap dancing lessons. And you can imagine being a little kid. You're like, mm. I don't want to do this. You know, it's not. But like, it was popular back then, right? <laughs> like Gene Kelly and all that stuff. Right? God, here's number three. Oh, God. Frank Sinatra, oh, Gene sh- Kelly. Come on. <laughs> Fred Astaire, right? It was like popular back then. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Con. And so. No. We're, <laughs> we're, so. You're, you're a kid and you put the shoes on and you're like. Click, 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 yeah. click, 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 and you're like. And then for like a kid, you know, like we were talking last episode, like things that entertain us, like sounds and you know making weapons and fireworks and ufc fights when you're little reenactments yeah reenactments yeah Yeah. and so um (laughs) so we're tap dancing i remember just having a good time i'm like oh i like this and i net and this is like over several years ago when i was younger Mm -hmm. you're gonna I remember <laughs> so self-conscious of that now. when the when that <laughs> dance teacher says, "Okay, everyone, grab someone's hand, and we're gonna tap dance in a circle." So I grab my brother's hand, you know, and then my other hand's like, "Oh, you got nice hands." Oh, like and, th- and then <laughs> moisturize. In my little brain, I'm like, "I have to grab a girl's hand, and I'm not gonna do this." So my brother and I cried because we had to touch a girl. Girl's hand. And yeah. my mom never took us Girl's back. hand, I yes. was traumatized. Because we were, and I realized we were the only two boys in the How whole old? class. Six. Oh, yeah. But later on, after six, I, 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 
loved girls. Like something happened yeah. after that. Like, yeah, <laughs> girls. Women. <laughs> You're an adult. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so question for you, Johnny. Um, I know we talked about the pickle beer because this really intrigued me. Mm. I want to try that pickle beer now because I like that sour taste. Yeah, we should we should order some. What yeah. do you think? What what what's another one? We should we should grab a few. What, yeah. what what's another one? If you can invent ones. one, what would it be? Oh, that's mm. a good question. Invent a beer. So I really like the cinnamon type of like palate flavors that you know you get the little like bit fireball? of spice. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like a fireball <laughs> beer, right? Like imagine that a little bit of like spice. <laughs> Right, with a little bit of that cinnamon and kind of you know warming, kind yeah. of a warming feeling, right? like a potty, uh, potty toddy or toddy potty, potty toddy, potty toddy, potty toddy, potty toddy, yeah. what? Potty toddy, yeah. I up. have an eight-year-old. Oh, I still say potty. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. You gotta, I gotta go watch potty. My language too, because I don't want to get fired. And then I got a dog. I got a puppy. Hey, gotta go potty. <laughs> gotta go potty. <laughs> Potty toddy. Potty toddy. We're gonna so make it's that hotty. Hotty toddy. It's hotty toddy. Yeah. Hotty toddy. Hotty toddy. Hotty toddy. Yeah. Um, but I would like to try something with a cinnamon flavor. Look, we, we should Google that too. Check that and see if there's any cinnamon, cinnamon flavored, flavored beers. Beer. Just like a subtle cinnamon. It doesn't have to be yeah. too. Is crazy. it called a hot toddy? Hot toddy. Yeah, yeah. Not hot toddy. We're going hotty. Hotty potty. Hotty toddy. Hotty we like toddy. the potty. <laughs> okay. We we don't so a hotty toddy. Is this it? Yeah, hot Let's toddy. This up yeah. for a viewership. Yeah. It's a tea bag. Can you make it through the ingredients list, <laughs> Joe? <laughs> I can't even do you need do help? Okay. okay. Eight <laughs> ounce of hot water, <laughs> one ounce bourbon, one uh, teaspoon of honey, and one slice of lemon to garnish, and cinnamon sticks to garnish. <laughs> that I sounds just, amazing. I just can't. <laughs> we got we got through one ingredient. <laughs> We had to take a break. Okay, and okay. so it tastes like hot toddies are good. Hot toddies are really good. Yeah, hot toddies yeah, are yeah, good. Yeah. It's like a nice winter. Yeah, drink. it's just whiskey, yeah. lemon, and uh, honey. Yeah, but oh I my mean, god, you guys got me crying. Now that we <laughs> we went from like no gee gee to like foo foo drinks, yeah. do you care? Is this considered a foo foo drink? I don't think hot toddy is a foo foo. I'm no. looking at a picture of it, and it looks like a foo foo drink. No, it's bourbon. that's bourbon. It's like it's when you're sick, you drink it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cold. Yeah. Hey, I, I yeah. got a cold. What should yeah. I do, Doc? Drink yeah. some alcohol. Yeah. No, some hotty toddy. Yeah, because yeah. it relaxes sore throat you. Sore throat. Sore throat. Yeah, they're it good. It does sound very medicinal, though. It has a tea yeah. bag. I say we'll say that herbal. It herbal. has honey and lemon and cinnamon sticks. And someone's like, hey, that's great, but let's put some bourbon in it to, to juice it up. <laughs> yeah, the medicinal part probably excludes the bourbon. Hey, uh, here's some Pedialyte with some Everclear. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a counter. It counters. Yeah, it does. Right? It hydrates you and Hot kills bourbon. you. So don't drink Everclear or no. what is it? Everclear or uh, Bacardi 151. Oh, you guys want to know? Oh, God. One. This is uh, Marine Corps days, okay? Thank you for your service. Marine, it's an honor. I, I, I. So we're in San Diego, and um, I had an experience with Bacardi 151, right? So uh, at the uh, the bartender in San Diego, there was a salsa club. We uh, we ordered something mm, called salsa. a cucaracha, a mm. cockroach, mm -hmm. okay? So this is what they do. They get a shot glass. They put tequila, Jose Cuervo. It has to be Jose Cuervo. It has to be the most disgusting yeah, I was gonna yeah. say that's naturally. gold. Naturally, Jose Cuervo oh. gold. So you know that. Then they put Bailey. The bartender does mm. Bailey, but does it with a little cut or a, a, a knife so that it stays separated. And then on top, the Bacardi 151. Okay. Then you get just imagine eight of them. Ooh. Oh okay? no. And then you light them. Ooh. So I'm it's all that blue flame. It looks so cool. Mm. And we're like, yeah, we want those. Bunch of Marines. So we get it. And you can't shoot it. You got to get a straw. And oh. then just. Whoop. Now you got to do it hot. fast and enough. You got to do it fast. Because if you if you sip it, then the fire melts the, mm, the, straw, the straw. And then yeah. you're in trouble. So yeah. you got to just. Oh. So oh, you almost feel the fire coming up, right? So the first one went well. We had a couple of drinks. Two hours later, we're like, all right, let's have another one. <laughs> Two hours right? later of drinking other things. <laughs> yes. So there they are again, eight of them or 
two hours later. It was probably like five minutes later. It was actually later. four, but you're drunk and it looked like eight. <laughs> Time's flying by. <laughs> so here we are. Hey, happy birthday, Marines, or whatever. And our knucklehead butts decided to do cheers. Oh, mm. no, it's flaming. <laughs> no. <laughs> Of course. And then I can see I can see my my uh, buddies they're like staring at their hand, and then here I go like I managed to you yeah, know, yeah put, put mine out, put yours out yeah. and then I slapped this guy's uh, hand <laughs> and all the liquid went on the oh, on the no. on the chair oh, yeah it's all yeah. it's oh. all fine <laughs> and, and then the other ones were like shaking their hands <laughs> on the part and the bar. the whole bar is on fire <laughs> wow. <laughs> So, so it doesn't end there. I wish it would Whoa. have ended. So the bartender got a towel calmly. He shut everything. Yeah, you've seen this before. Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he taps, he, he, he uh, tops everything back up. Oh, he's going to give you another chance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah another yeah, round Because we go didn't do it. it. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so we're like, okay, boom. Light it all up. And then, all right. Hey, hey, no cheers this time, okay? Yeah, no, yeah. We're not going to do the cheers thing. All right. Oh, happy birthday. And here I go. <laughs> I, I had a cough. Oh. <laughs> I didn't move. I coughed through the straw. Oh, oh my no, gosh. You. <laughs> Freaking fire breathing dragon. <laughs> Game of Thrones over here. <laughs> it's like that scene of Game of Thrones where right? the dragon's yeah. coming in just melting. Melting millions faces. And millions. Melting faces. <laughs> So that was it. Game oh over. Oh my gosh. It stunk like burnt hair because it got my <laughs> eyebrows. Oh. I can imagine, man. Done. So uh, I don't know how I decided to tell that story, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> that was. Um, uh, I don't want to say it was traumatizing because it was a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good story. It's a good story. We you should make that. some yeah. cucarachas. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. think yeah. one of the things I love about that story is the bartender's like, yeah, we almost burnt the place down. Let's give it another shot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do over. Mulligan. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. It was a mulligan. Oh, yeah, yeah. They missed that. Okay, here you go. Well, Let's speak go about again. burn yeah. things down. Yeah. You think almost burning a, a bar down is bad. I was an altar boy for several years. I went to Catholic school. That's a whole bunch of stories out of that. But I, I did not like being an altar boy during the morning, early morning masses, like 6.30 in the morning yeah. masses, because I have to ride my bike there, change, and it was morning mass, and you yeah. have to go out. You had to go by yourself? Your family wasn't Oh, yeah, in the, mor in the morning, because you have, like, a shift. You have, like, mm. shifts, and then so yeah. I'm tired, and... I like lighting the candles because at least you get to do something yeah, yeah. cool. Play with fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I might get fired for that. Yeah. Saying playing with fire. No, don't play with fire. <laughs> don't play with fire. No. And so I'm in the church of God and I'm sitting there and you go up and then you have matches and then you light one candle. That's nice. You have heavenly music. And then so, <laughs> so you light the one candle and you move to the other side and you light the other candle and you you blow out the um, the match and you mm -hmm. set it down. Well, I think I missed a step about blowing out the match. <laughs> oh, oh sh <laughs> so what you do? No way. I put it down and I went to go in and then there was a fire starting on the on the cloth on the oh, altar. Oh yeah, yeah, so the, yeah. The priest is like saying, you know what? I forget, but is this yeah, mid mass? Uh, mid this, this is at the mass? beginning. <laughs> oh, I'm already up there and they're watching. They watch the light. The, you know, yeah, 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 one yeah. kid has to carry that yeah. dang heavy cross. Yeah, and I yeah, hated that because yeah. I was always afraid I was going to drop it. Tip over. Yeah. Because yeah, it was yeah. so yeah. top heavy. It was just the design of it was horrible. And so, and I didn't like the incense kid was like mm. a wrecking ball thing mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, with like. <laughs> Yeah. Ball and chain. Yeah, like because ball it would be, and chain. I, my allergies. And mm. So I wanted to light the candles. So it was one of the days of lighting the candles. And I forgot I was tired. And um, so the priest is like starting the mass. And I'm up there <laughs> trying to put, trying out to put it out. <laughs> In the church. Did, did anybody notice? I think some people did, but it wasn't big. But mm. the, the, the cloth, because there's. There's no smoke? Yeah. There was a little bit of smoke. And I'm, I'm lightly trying to play it off. <laughs> And how old are you? Everything's fine. Everything's good. I'm sixth grade. I'm like 12 years old. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, you still knew. You still knew. Yeah, yeah. To do like, something. Yeah. 
Well, I was more worried about out, going right, to hell yeah. than yeah. burning down the church. Because you, you imagine yeah, you burn you down a church, no. nope. you're nope. done. You're done. Yes. You yeah. Yeah. When you go to the pearly gates and you're trying to talk your way in, like, hey, yeah, I blew it. They're going to be like, Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> we got <laughs> you. And like, you burned <laughs> down a church of God. <laughs> so yes, you can't. I, I I think with enough, I think with enough co- confessions, you can probably. Do you know how many Hail Marys? How many Hail Mary, Hail Marys is that? One million two hundred thirty-two thousand one hundred twenty-two, oh, but only five acts of contrition. Mm, yeah, because <laughs> those are tough. <laughs> Did you ever? Yeah. So, were you raised Roman Catholic? Yes. Were you raised? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was an altar boy too. Actually. Oh really? Yeah. I have a funny altar boy story actually. But go ahead. Yeah. But you know how you do confession, like you go to a priest and they have that yeah. little door, but they know who you are. But it's a, did you ever? They can see through yeah, it. Yeah, they right? can yeah. see through yeah. it. And then were you totally honest about telling them everything? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the answer. That's silence. <laughs> well, I never was totally honest. Yeah. <laughs> were you uh, totally I'm, honest? I take it you're not <laughs> super religious anymore. Well, describe religion. Do you go to Oh, no, 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 no. Church? That's a deep rabbit hole we're yeah. about to get into. No. Here. So, no, I haven't <laughs> been to church a long time. Okay, okay, okay. But for confession, I I didn't want to say everything because I didn't want to tell a priest all the things that, like, I thought and wanted to do and all that stuff. But I know but, you're supposed to clean your slate. Yeah, but you're a, you're a kid, too, so yeah. it, don't take it. Don't take it too hard. Yeah, you're like, I pushed yeah. Tommy in the... In oh, the, no, it was worse than that. <laughs> yeah. But, okay, second question, I want to hear your story. Did When they give you, like, 10 Our Fathers and all that, did you ever, like, speed go through them or you kind oh, of yeah. cheated? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, I'm just going to do eight. <laughs> kinda like, kinda yeah. like, it's kind of like during... Padre Nuestro que estás en el cielo, Dios en tu casa, en tu nombre, en tu reino, en Señor, como tú estás en la tierra, como en el cielo, en el cada día, perdón, nuestro, como te habéis retornado, son los que están en los que están en el libro, es todo mal. Oh, my gosh. I'm an M join us, bro. It's kind of like when we do the leapfrogs at BJJ, and our professor says 20 leapfrogs, and I'm like... I'm a grown ass man. I'm 52. I'm gonna do like five. <laughs> do Do you know who you sounded like just now <laughs> when you were doing your Padre Nostro? Uh, big boy in Mis ojos lloran por ti. That's what you sounded oh, like right now, right? He said, "Oh, we're talking about the one that got the other set together." Yeah. And then the Ave Marias. Oh, that's funny. Uh, yes. Dios te salve, María, llena de de gracia. Señor, es contigo, bendita eres entre las mujeres. Bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Boom. How do I know that? That's like... It's ingrained. Yeah. Ingrained. Yeah. So before your story, I didn't go to church for years, but I had a friend, and God bless him, he had um, cancer and he passed away. So I went, and it was Catholic, and I hadn't been in a church for many years, and it was automatic like yeah. i knew and even my right. daughters my wife they're back. looking at yeah. and they're like whoa and even me i was so um i guess it's just so indoctrinated yeah. in yes. me yeah. that and i was just like whoa like but i the, even knew the response but they change that. stuff up sometimes like every like 10 or 15 years they like change one little <laughs> thing old school right keep it old school and if you keep it old school then you're like the only one kneeling and like everybody else is standing or like there's a lot know, of kneeling everyone dude. is standing up and, down. And, and, yeah. and then you're like the only one kneeling still right you're like, you know oh, who's catholic my <laughs> because mm-hmm. they got the nice booties it's like all these tiktokers oh today God. they're doing the squats but people that are um oh catholic uh-huh you know because they're squatting a lot we got the nice religious booties <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're funny man that's let, that let me, uh, let, that's let, that brazilian <laughs> stuff right <laughs> the bab or ba- bab booba bababuba or the Bunda. no Bunda. The, yeah, the, the crossfit uh, no i just go brazilian, to church brazilian <laughs> Brazilian blowout? No, that's a what? hair. <laughs> Dude, that's a hair. I'm Brazilian not blowout. Even commenting Brazilian on that. butt lift. Uh, BBL. 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 Brazil butt Brazil, lift? Brazilian. Was that like lift. surgery? Yeah, surgery. Surgery. So that's they surgery, take the huh? fat from like the torso oh. and they put it in the butt. <laughs> it's practical. 
That's so practical. You know, right? it's very efficient. That's like <laughs> it's green. How long have people it's been green? wishing for that? Right? Well, it's green. You know, like green save the planet. You oh, know, you're not wasting. I thought the fat was going wasting. green. Oh, yeah. 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 That's toxic. That's, That's practical. Pickles. That's, That's really practical. practical. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How long have people been wishing for that? Right? They're like, I want all this to go here, or all this to go here. What, you know, whatever. The yeah. Case but is, right? it has to be painful. I mean, it's like sucking the fat out of my gut, sticking it in my bottom. Yeah, I mean, you're probably they probably put you down the oh yeah all that probably. stuff right yeah. How do we yeah. get to? I watch enough TLC to know <laughs> the, <laughs> to know that they they put those. Hey, people, honey, come over here. Like that 600 pound life show. Have you seen? Oh that? yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, I like. Shoot. I'll like watch that every once in a yeah. while, and they have the surgeries. They'll show the surgeries. You know, like blurred out the most minimal blur. Right, you can see everything except like the incision right and the yeah it's yeah, like yeah. this big yeah. right and you're like what why are you even blurring anything yeah. did he stick like, yeah. stick like a shop vac to it or how it's did like they a know? little it's like a little it's like a thing like, like a this small pen. right and they put it in and then they oh, move man. it I, around I can't, oh it's I can't, nasty I can't, it's really nasty I can't yeah do any of that. and then you're left with all this flab right yeah, and skin. then you got to skin Tons of skin yeah and then you got to come back once you heal from that a year later you got to come back and they got to cut that cut the skin yeah or it's a big process or if you can like bulk up and just get like ripped like swole yeah not that not some of those not guys, some 600 of those guys pounds. no no not 600 pounds but some of the guys that are really heavy and they have a lot of loose extra skin they just get jacked and yeah. it fills in that extra skin oh that's yeah. a good idea yeah probably hmm. that's a lot a little bit saucy they probably get saucy but oh they have to that's a lot yeah that's a oh i mean that's just tough. to loot a lot of those on the show a lot of those people i mean they saved their own lives because yeah. they were about Ticking yeah. time bomb. That's a struggle, dude. Can you imagine? Like, we're complaining about losing, you know, twenty pounds to like yeah. weight or whatever, right? Can you imagine like four hundred? I think pounds. That's, yeah, that's I think that's the most courageous people. And then one of the things is like how people kind of shame people going to the gyms, but it, it's easy to go mm -hmm. to the gym when you look. If like you someone. look good, yeah, yeah. it's easy. Yeah. Like on TikTok, and then the trend of people like taking videos and shaming them but that actually competing. makes it worse for yeah. those that really need it yeah because now you're competing oh I look at all these freaking people but yeah. then even people like posting it you know they're recording people that maybe it's the first time so they could get views and in my mind when you see something like that yeah maybe you're commenting on their physical appearance but the bigger thing is you basically showing the world your lack of character you know, why, yeah. why would you, like in jujitsu, it would be like me recording a white belt, not knowing how to do an arm bar, you know, and then post yeah. it, like, look at this. Oh, white like them, belt. oh, like yeah. them recording other like overweight people. Oh yeah. That's yeah. terrible. It's that's terrible. terrible. Yeah, and then like, they're trying to get views or whatever. But I've seen some people turn that around and they're like, oh, this person, you know, look how big this person is in the gym, like working out, like, yes, you know, look at how like. big they are. And then they come back and they start their own account or their own social media thing oh. and then they capture their journey and yeah. they blow up and they're like yeah. super popular right and they're like oh man look at this guy's transformation and, and that's yeah. so thing i guess i guess yeah you know? good that, thanks for sharing that because yeah. that shows both perspectives yeah. i didn't really think about that yeah. but it's like what we mentioned like i know we drink beer and chocolate and all the other stuff and you guys making fun of how old i am but it then just like bjj grandma or just grandma it's just like what what's your purpose what's your why and then and then how do you get started Sorry. just like the jiu-jitsu grandma again it's just like and i was thinking about that and i've had some feedback like they liked us talking about it because just to have someone again at that age you know yeah. yeah like how does that happen or a person that says i'm very overweight i'm this but no like what happens where they say i'm going to do something to change my life Right. And then you have to have that that idea. And then, of course, it's a support system, too, you know, getting you through that. Mm -hmm. Because no journey should be done on your own. But And those are the things what that What about like. those people with no support system, though, that yeah, still yeah, get through Yeah, that's it, a dude. whole different animal. Oh, that's that's some David Goggins stuff yeah. right yeah. there. <laughs> so much, yeah. Have David you guys Goggins, ever yeah. felt, like, a little unmotivated and just put some David Goggins on? And then oh, you're, yeah. like, ah, you're like, fine. Let's go. I'm getting in the gym. <laughs> yeah, but, then, right. but then even his story, if I remember correctly, he was, he was overweight. And then yeah, something yeah, yeah. clicked in him. Yeah. Maybe I have to do yeah. more research. Like, when was that moment when you decided, this is when I changed my life? I've read a couple of his books, and it's, um, he, I think he got one? 
fired. I think he lost his job at the termin uh, at the uh, termite. He, he was a bug guy, hmm. overweight bug dude that went home and just ate fast yeah, food yeah. and stayed up late and and yeah, it just clicked one day. Is it can't hurt me? Can't that's, hurt me. That, yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's the big one. Okay, that's a good. That's yeah. like that's that's origin my, story or something. Yeah, that, yeah. What's the basic message though, just for me and the audience? Don't be a little. <laughs> but in today's society, it's, it's, is that there's would be people that would be offended by that though too. It's just like, but it doesn't can't, offend me. But they need to hear it. Okay. They are the ones that need to hear. But it. you know who? You know, don't be a beep. biggest fan of jo uh, Jocko, yes. the way of the warrior kid. That book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, the book, that that's the book you that's let the book. Me, yes. that you, that yes. you actually lent me. Correct? Yes. No, okay. gave you. Gave me. Thank you. Gave you. you. That's a present. That. And then uh, um, uh, Life Scale, too. Uh, that's the one Johnny uh, has, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's an exercise in there that you should go through. I think it's uh, it's really good. And it's... I think it's like chapter three. Mm -hmm. It's it's a great book, and then I can uh, I can even get the author oh, on, nice. on here. Yeah, I'll yeah. call him up, yeah. and then he'll he'll join us yeah. and talk that'd about be, it. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. So going on to the theme of books, and that's one thing I like about the podcast. It's just conversation. I do enjoy mm -hmm. interacting with people that do read books. I one thing that I do is like I did with your room when we I start looking at what people have on their bookshelves. Yeah. It's not that I'm trying to judge. I'm just trying to get information. And then is it like a lot of Dean Koontz books, which is sci-fi, like mystery? But, and mm. like, okay, cool. Or is it just a combination of things like self-help, motivational? Or is it something based on romance? And, and all those are great because if you read, but if you guys 50 were... Fifty Shades. <laughs> Fifty Shades. Fifty Shades. <laughs> a library full of Fifty Shades. <laughs> First one was written what so well. What does this say about? But then what, but then what, hap well, what? <laughs> what happened? Well, when you came over and you saw my bookshelf, it wasn't only Fifty Shades, but did you like how I did the lighting around it? It was uh, like a display. Ooh. A little framing, a little, a little light framing. <laughs> it was a little books on the bookshelf. A little vignetting, a little vignetting so around the edges. So what are some of your favorite books and why? My uh, top top one that changed kind of my trajectory is uh i know it's gonna sound a little corny it's uh grant cardone 10x rule mm. oh. yeah the 10x 10x rule i don't know yeah. what that is it's that? 10x it's is awesome. 10x rule yeah, yeah. it's pretty I'm intense it's it's his origin it's grant car uncle gc's uh uh origin story it's uh it's a good book and that one i think it's i i like it better on audiobook some of these yeah. audio yes. book is good because he's the one doing it. And you like same it's all thing fired with up. Yeah. yeah same thing with uh, I have um, I have um, 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 oh my god I'm losing my mind David uh, Goggins you can't hurt me I have that one on uh, paperback mm -hmm. but the the audio book is better because that's him yeah he gets I, all passionate about it and you're like Fuck yeah. I'm, I'm like big audiobook guy but i, I like yeah. hearing the author read it versus a voice actor yes it depends it, it depends uh, it depends that's a good point too it because, really yeah i don't know i guess it would be saying like having the person who writes a screenplay being the actor too i guess but i do appreciate if someone can deliver it that you get to hear their passion in it yeah it's just like if i write my life story i would like to read it because then when i talk about my life Versus yeah. a voice actor. Well, yeah. Yeah, so. So, so I'll, I'll give you one art, uh, author that I didn't like. Uh, Stephen King. And I was listening to the Dark Tower series. Oh. And it is like. Love the Dark Tower. It's like a life-changing really? series. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like his epic, you know. Uh, imagine like his Lord of the Rings, <clears throat> basically, right? That's a good comparison. Right? It's like his Lord of the Rings. It's mm -hmm. like six or seven books. Anyways, there's, a, there's like an interlude between two of the books and he narrates it and I just I just couldn't mm. I just couldn't grasp onto it. I just didn't like his his narrating. Really? Yeah. And the all the other books are like very professionally done. And not that he's a bad narrator, it's just I don't know. I just couldn't get into it. And it was Stephen mm. King. I don't know what people okay, think. Okay, so that, um my book and then I'm gonna ask you a question, mm. Stop, is the book that changed me in terms of reader was The Hobbit. 
Oh, which, yeah. Is the, yeah. which is the precursor to the Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time, and I loved reading when I was little. It was cool, like dinosaur books or this or that or Hardy Boys and all that. Probably make an old person. Hardy Boys. There you go. Hardy Boys is old. <laughs> what? <laughs> you say, Dude. Look, well, look up the year. I Hardy don't even Boys know. Was, I don't Hardy even Boys know. Hardy Boys is like a 1950s, 40s Who is thing. that? Okay. So what Hardy Boys. <laughs> really? Hardy up, Boys? It's like mystery boys going out and solving crime. You're not it, even making that. That's this 1942? Um, <laughs> what happened was. I hey, wait. Use this How did you do that? Awesome. You. Yeah, you got to stay upright. I'm going to have to go. Just like that. Me. You're good. You're I, good. I get excited about you, my books. Can I, can I slouch a little bit? Yeah, yeah, you okay. can slouch. Sloucher. So it's spelled, it's kind of like. Now look at this. Say, first published in 1927. Oh, <laughs> I said, oh, my God. So you were <laughs> Bro. 10 years old in 1920. <laughs> you were like 8, 16. <laughs> Dude, I was so scared of being drafted into the World War One. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude. Hey. <laughs> I want another beer. You guys want a beer? Uh, I'm I'm down. I'll take another one. Yeah. What What do you get? Us? Still working on the I got Dos Equis. I got an IPA. You You decide. You decide. I don't. I don't care. So, I'll take that. I'll take the Dos. Okay. Uh, I'll do another. I can't game. say anything with those guys tell me about. But the hey, Hop it you know, was the first time that when you read, you know, in that magical place where you don't even realize you're you're reading, you're just like everything disappears and you're just inside of the book. And you lose track uh, of time. That magic. The Hobbit uh, was, um, I think I read it in like fifth grade or something, fifth or sixth grade, and it was a life changing, life changing book. I, that's when I started enjoying reading. I think with that book. Yeah, and I have this weird rule. I, I try to read one highbrow book for every two lowbrow books. What's a highbrow? Something like something um, you can brag about at a dinner party. Art of Happiness by Dalai Lama. Um, how um, subtle art of not giving an F. Yeah. Um, the Talent Code. Yeah. Nietzsche. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Something out of nothing, which is the uh, ideal of spontaneous creation. So I read that, where science actually can state that there is no supreme power being. That actually, scientifically, they think that there's spontaneous creation of all there is in the universe. And then on the other side of it, I read The Case for Christ. So there's all these other books because I, I just want to see all the different ranges. But then one, like in a year and a half, I read like 30 zombie books. <laughs> but I can't just read zombie books. It, like literally, I read 30. Well, they're fun. I mean, they're fun. fun, but then I, I kind of want self-improvement though too. Mm. Or reading the... Jiu Jitsu University. Yeah. And so. You want to feel like you're getting something beyond just the, the story of the book? Well, yeah. It's like watching documentaries once in a while or, or watching zombie movies. Like mm -hmm. once in a while, I want to watch a documentary and learn something different. You know, we could talk, like in our podcast, we could talk about BS stuff all the time beer and beer. All that stuff. You know what my biggest fear about beer and Jiu Jitsu is like. Running out of beer? <laughs> well. <laughs> No, it's that's why, like, that's an IPA. I stay away from IPAs. I'm not mm. an IPA guy. You know why? I like, like IPAs. I, you do? I'm just afraid of like rolling and like squirts, uh, farty. Yeah. Oh, the farty. And jiu jitsu. Yeah. Have you guys, have you ever like busted ass in uh, while rolling with? I, <laughs> I've been fortunate enough not to have that experience yeah. yet. Um, but I will say one thing is I'm it's on close. a total rhythm. And like right before I train, and, and I usually work out at the same time. But like if I don't train that day, I always go number two. Like, and I get it. Oh, all you out got the. Oh, you got the. My body rhythm. knows. My body knows. Like we're about to go into war and like do some do some action, right? Like so you we're, purge you know, the demons. So yeah. purge, get ready, right? Like bears do this, right? Bears. bears. Grizzly bears it's do this. I, yeah. Okay, I don't know this. Grizzly bears this. do this. This is. No, I'm serious. <laughs> Joe Burish, look that up. Go, dude, look it up, dude. I'm <laughs> telling you. Grizzly bears do it. There's videos of it. <laughs> oh, they, you watch videos? I get fired yeah, up, dude. I get, fired, bears, up. I get fired up. Of bears <laughs> pooping. I get fired up. I've never been so sad about a person in my life. So they, they uh, when they get all testosterone like crazy and they start fighting with each other, right? And they're literally in the fight with each other. They will like <laughs> defecate, right? What? To to clear their system. It's like a it's like a fight or flight response before they fight they poop before during 
<laughs> it like what the it makes them it makes them a better it makes them a better like just look it up. Dude. I'm looking it up in my okay, keep talking. Oh my god. Where did that you is... see this? Bears pooping before they fight. Bear fights so hard it poops itself. That's on Reddit. We can't do this. Bear poops in front of kids. Okay, bears. Do bears poop when they're hibernating? <laughs> bear poop. He's, he's, he's not a good. He's, I don't, I don't I mean, think, yeah. yeah. It's, not Yahoo, it's not Yahoo, dude. It's not Yahoo. It's not Yahoo. Bears, bears pooping before okay, they so fight. Pooping, pooping bears fighting. What, what is the scientific reason for them pooping? Definitely. Wait, that's not the correct word. Defecating, Defecating right? I want to say yeah, defecating. Yeah. I think it's something. Defecating. So what's the idea behind Look, it? Look, okay, so here, here's a good here's a good one. Okay. okay, why do you sometimes lose bowel function when scared? Okay. <laughs> All right. It's like, you know, <laughs> the, the, it's, a oh, common, it's a common response. That's a Look, fight or flight. Why do anxious feelings create the need to go to the toilet? Okay. Oh, you see? Pee pee. Okay, so right. what's I gotta the go reason pee-pee. behind that? This is a, the, it's a fight or flight response. Look, yeah. Cortisol uh, levels. Thanks to the nerve. Okay, here's somebody in men's health. This is men's health. Oh, men's health. Yeah, we're talking about men's health. Yeah. Okay. What a great article. Thanks to the nerves in our digestive tract uh, contracting rapidly. When you're nervous, you're more likely to have the urge to poop. It is normal response to a nervous reaction. Uh, whether it's your anxiety or speaking in front of a large group, it's a very common problem that occurs. So I maybe get nervous before I go work out or before I go roll or, you know, I, I'm like getting amped up mm. to like go do this thing. So I, I clear it all out. Interesting. Yeah. That's my fight or flight response. Have you I, ever? I have to poop before I do my taxes because I'm always scared about how much I owe. <laughs> Anxiety. <laughs> have you ever farted while rolling? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah oh, yeah. I, I think it's a natural thing. <laughs> Not with me. <laughs> Shit. Oh, yeah. Well, I respect you. So. <laughs> oh, so that's that why? Because uh, it's a power move. Okay. So farts, I got some power move, dude. I know. Farts, huh? farts happen naturally. It's a natural Of thing. course, but not when you're rolling. Dude, when, not so when you're like forcing it out. Like a when you're <laughs> belly, how do you not fart if you know. have to fart? You just don't. You, you, you don't. Control your... Control your, yeah. Your body, dude. Oh, my gosh. Have you ever wanted to poop yourself when someone applies that hard knee and belly? Yeah, that's why I hip escape. <laughs> <laughs> hip escape. Just... <laughs> <laughs> what? That's, that was not supposed yeah, but, to be a funny. No, that's but, answer. Funny, dude. But, but when they start applying the neon belly, don't you want to? Poop? You hip escape oh, harder. A, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put the hardest neon belly Come on you, dude. dude. You're gonna be pooping. Oh uh, no, no, no. Yeah, they're gonna call you depends. So, no, and you know why I bring this up? Because, uh, yeah, like every time I roll with this particular brother, <laughs> and I love him to death. <laughs> Fuck! It's like bah, yeah. and then I'm like, mm, it smells like IPA. I go, is that an IPA? <laughs> I don't know what type of IPA you're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> it smells, it smells like an IPA, or like a sour, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. one of those. Oh, it's got a little heavy, like it's got some tang to oh, it. It's got some twang. I don't, I don't it's got know some what twang it. to it. Hey, it's off. Another reason uh, to that's ketchup. IPA. It smells like. It smells you like taste fart. it. You're so close. You taste it. Mm. <laughs> it's like Step Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, and we, that person will remain nameless, but I know what you're talking about because it, you get the bonus round. There's, too. A cu- there's a couple people. There's a couple people. <laughs> actually. There's more than one. Yeah. But but because of our community and we love each other for who we are. I mean, is that offensive? No. Or oh no, it's no. not offensive. Yeah. I'm not saying it's no. offensive, but. We can laugh about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just who they are. I think they should use it as a power move more, <laughs> right? Like, boom, lock in a triangle, push it out. No. Now that, freaking, that's crossing now, the line. Is that crossing the line? Yeah, that that's is. Line that is, that really? is. Yeah. That's gross. If you did it on purpose? Yeah. Well, how are you going to Are you gonna prove <laughs> it? <laughs> prove it. Hey, where <laughs> is your honor? <laughs> like so, this, like this, like this, like this. Is your honor. Honor. <laughs> Like so those it's, it's old dubbed. Chinese movies. It's dubbed. <laughs> There's things that are funny, but if someone put me in a triangle and I was trying to get out and I you tap get out, out and they farted, you tap out. No, they hold you Regardless. in. Regardless, if I'm gonna fart on you, I'm not gonna let you. Regardless. go. Fart or no they, fart, they you hold tap it. Out. They hold it loose enough so that there's no <laughs> respectable tap. Dude, and then it <laughs> I'm gets, not even <laughs> squeezing. And it gets up tapping. in your nose and your sinuses and, and your eyes. And it, stay, it stays eyes. with you. Yeah. 
because it's just wait are we still talking about the triangle no you know how like you know camp out there's like a fire and then even though you wash your face and everything you still have that fire smell oh yeah, yeah 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 so the fart would be like that too. um yeah gross hmm. but <laughs> there's also different levels of fart there's the fart that's like Okay, you fart. And you some don't fart know what kind of fart you're going to fart dude, before smell, you fart it. By smell. There's you some farts kind of, like, but, oh, my God, you need to see a doctor. But do you know what kind of fart you're going to fart before you fart it? <laughs> no, you don't. You, you don't, don't. It's not right? like you go so through, you, like, a, a playlist, like Spotify, well, like, oh, I'm going to go with a gentle of, fart. You kind of, because you know, you know what, what you're, you're eating. Ate? Yeah. Or what okay, so what's the wrong type of foods? IPAs. What should you not eat before you roll? IPAs. My IPAs. stomach does not like IPAs. Like IPAs? It's like, mm. oh, damn. I'm not even joking, but I did Taco Bell once, and it oh, took no, everything no, no. from oh, me not to poop myself. No, no, I was Taco hungry. Bell. I'll never do that again. No. Okay, what else? doesn't happen with yellow corn tortillas. Though. Not yellow. Oh, my God. I made some tacos happen. today. No, seriously, we guys got to come over. I made some. The masa was good today because mm. it's hard to get the right, like, ratio, you know, with the... Yeah. Uh, because I use avocado, I actually put avocado oil in the masa as I'm making it, salt, pepper, you know, I, you know, and some, it's called cal. I don't know how to say that in English. That's okay. Um, but uh, it's another additive. It gives it that, 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 oh, flavor, delicious flavor. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, you got to get the balance right. Cal, cal with a K? K. K. I think it's, English, I think it's um, Spanish for spit. Cal, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's smog <laughs> like the tacos by the you know in mexico with the, all the smog all the bus yeah, yeah like like tj <laughs> yeah tj a little bit of that like, dust right the little tj bass. tacos mm. so so uh it was perfect like boom it, it clumped up nicely boom oh so good God, you're so happy when you talk I did, about tortillas i love tortillas it's I all I about the tortillas it. is it because it's just the act of cooking them. It's like a Zen thing, or is it just because you just know you? Can no, because make they taste on? good. I th I think also because you can cook it to your preference, right? Mm -hmm. Whenever you buy store bought tortillas, right, it's already pre cooked, right, to their preference or to their you know method of doing it. But being able to cook your own, you can make them a little bit softer. You can make them a little bit harder, whatever you want. Or right? you turn up the, it's called the comal again, and it's really hot. So it'll get a little crunchy on the outside, but the inside, yeah, yeah. it'll still be nice, yeah. soft, and gooey. Yeah. If it's thick enough. Yeah, if it's right? thick if enough. It's thick and then enough, and then it starts to bubble. You know, like a you're, chalupa you, from you know you're almost there mm -hmm. once it starts bubbling. Like chalupas? Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. you go and you're Chalupas like, are oh, fried. yeah. And mm -hmm. then you slap it a little bit and yeah. then the steam goes out. Mm -hmm. Then you flip the tortilla over. That's a homemade tortilla. I'm talking about a tortilla. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just like I was, <laughs> slap uh, it. Yeah, just, slap it. Yeah. Slap you, it. You my toss mind like, slap was, it. Yeah. You were ready to ready to go there. Daddy's girl's been a bad girl tortilla. <laughs> so <laughs> your wife comes in, your yeah. significant other, you're just like, Daddy's What's girl. What's going on in here? Daddy's girl's been a bad girl. You are slapping and you're just making tortillas. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're gonna keep this PG. I don't. Yeah, this, this PG. PG. There's nothing wrong with PG. No, that was PG thirteen. PG thirteen. PG thirteen. Okay. Yeah. You could put that in a movie. 14. And PG kids. fourteen. Mature. Yeah. Yeah. Mature. Yeah. Rated yeah. mature, like video games. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's good. Uh, Fortnite. Keep it Fortnite. Keep level. it Fortnite. And then, like Fortnite, but some of the things in Fortnite, because I play Fortnite, you could say are appropriate. It's a video game where are people. You are you a Fortnite guy? Okay. I I am a no build Fortnite player. I don't mm. like the build, so I like the no build. I like the battle royale. Just, but people worry about hey, um, this shouldn't be said or this should be said. But then Fortnite, which is such a big thing, you're out shooting people. Yeah. Literally. Well, shooting characters. Shooting characters. But it's teaching people to kill people. It's teaching people to shoot characters. Okay, so let me present you this. How come we don't it, see any video games about planting trees to save the environment? Yeah. I think you, you do. Yeah, you have Minecraft. I'm looking at Minecraft. You Minecraft, you oh. plant stuff. Oh. But then, but then ooh, you're killing things. Ooh. That's a cycle of life. <laughs> We're getting the philosophical circle. here. We're getting philosophical. The way it's a circle of life. It's a, har it's a harsh reality. It's a harsh reality of life. I'm going to look that up. Yeah. Video game where you just plant trees. 
Farm Simulator. Yeah, there's a Farm Simulator. Yeah, dude, there's yeah. so many simulation games too. There's dude, Car Wash Simulator. I like the, uh, there's Mowing the Lawn tr- Simulator. Truck Driving truck Simulator. Driver simulator. Literally, literally Truck Driving. so many simulation games. Like Long Haul Truck Driving like Simulator. Eight hours? Like 15 hours. So, And you just sit. Th- that's the game. You just sit there yes. driving. Yes. And you like pass cars and stuff. I'm not even joking. <laughs> pass cars. Yeah, you like pass people and you slow down and stuff and you like have to like deliver your load or whatever, right? And what? Like, <laughs> talking to, to truck simulator, oh, dude. I'm looking okay. up something, okay. And uh, seriously, it's a popular I game. I bet it is. It's a really God, popular we're game. We're not going to make it through episode four. <laughs> this was the last episode, guys. Sorry, Johnny blew it. <laughs> We have protocol before t- every. But, um, I'm trying to see how close <laughs> I can get without s- saying anything to get you to break. That's that's my goal. Hey, hold on, hold on. I think I have a. Uh, hold on. There you <laughs> oh go. my god, that, it? that is awesome. Was that it? Yeah, that was yeah. it. And then how come little, I can't hear it? A little applause at the end. I can hear it. That's the applause. Yeah. That's weird. I can't. Hear it. Can't hear it. Oh, there it is. Hey, oh. There, there's a game. Oh yeah, there it is. Ready yeah, yeah. about it's called. Um, Everforest, and I've been playing video games here. It's the old man comment since the Pong days and Atari. Space Invaders? I'll, I'll, I let, could, I'll let you dude. off on that one. <laughs> you just feel bad for me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's um, Everforest, and basically what they're trying to do, the so-called play-to-plant game lets players engage in real-world issues and aims to plant 100 million trees across the globe by 2025. Well, they better get their act together. So it looks like you play a video game and then they actually somehow will plant trees on their behalf in real life. IRL, LOL. That sounds wonderful. That sounds lame. That sounds super lame. <laughs> That's like <laughs> you plant trees in a video game and they will plant trees on hey, your Bob, behalf. Can I have Call of Duty or can <laughs> I have Ever Forest? <laughs> Hey, um, hey, You're getting ever hey for Luis us. and John, you have a new game. You want to come over to my house? We're going to have a sleepover. We're going to have pizza. Oh, what'd you get? The new color? Dude, I got the new Everforest. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, you know what it is? We just sit there and watch. We plant trees. We're helping the environment. I'm going I'm, I'm to go play truck simulator, truck driver <laughs> simulator <laughs> instead. You, you have fun with Everforest. Do, do you hug the trees after, though? I don't know. It's, can, we I, get to, can we pull up some gameplay? I want to see some gameplay. Okay, I will game. do that as we oh, talk gameplay about gameplay on it? Like... <laughs> no, like I, no, I want to see a video of somebody playing this game. And like, see what you the know what is. exactly that person is going to look like. That's all I'm going to say. He's going to be like my age, living in the basement with his mom, asking for more spaghettios. I don't know if those. You live in the basement? No, I'm just saying someone that. I don't know if those people are actually <laughs> playing Everforest. <laughs> I feel like the people playing Everforest are like. <laughs> no, probably little kids. Like that's something that my uh, six, seven year old would be like oh cool so, i want you to get your son ever forest and i want oh my no gosh. actually no not my eight-year-old he'd be he's into minecraft okay. so minecraft he's, is awesome yeah he's yeah um you seedlets to plant your trees ever forest no ever forest gameplay Why? ever force i don't know why i went to that i'm old man dude it's not yahoo siri so, it's not yahoo. for context everyone uh alexa look up Joe is a Yahoo search. User. He's a Yahoo. He's one of seven <laughs> global Yahoo search users. Hey. Yeah, he just gave up his Hotmail account. And then too. if you mm. use Yahoo, you know the Chinese don't even care about what you're looking at. <laughs> oh, God. All these conspiracy theories. It's not a conspiracy, dude. <laughs> oh. Dude, those balloons that they're sending over so they can watch us. Those, yeah, I shooting saw the balloons. Down. I saw you got the balloons. all quiet. I saw the yeah, balloons. I, got all quiet. I was, stuff, I was waiting for you to say something, but that, well, it's a serious thing, dude. I want I want the audience to kind of ponder on the seriousness of that. I think that, it's I smoke and mirrors. <laughs> I don't know how serious it is. The TikTok thing is real. Smoke and mirrors. I, the, is TikTok is the, the TikTok thing is TikTok real. The TikTok thing. I believe it. Yeah. Do you yeah. think they should ban TikTok? Uh, I think they should. Ooh, why? Because I don't know enough about it, and I don't don't trust it. It's just an (laughs) ignorant, quick response. I don't trust new apps. No new apps. 
<laughs> it's not giving me anything on this Air Force. Instagram. America. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> new apps. If it's not American made. Not, yeah, yeah, right? that's it. Just <laughs> If it's not American made, then it's yeah. not worth it, boy. America. Hey, have you guys? Hey, that um, was a good accent. Do it again. If it's not American made, <laughs> then it's not worth it. America. <laughs> Have you guys seen the? Um, it was good until it was the, the end. Yeah. <laughs> the doll win, um, Team America. No, it's the dolls. You have not seen. Have you seen it? Yeah, World Police. Yeah. It's what is it? I'll show you. We'll get a clip. It's uh, made by the South Park creators. Oh, and they made a movie called Team America: World Police, and it's uh, like oh. little action figures. You dolls. have not seen this, and okay. it is. I think one of the best movies of the 2000s. Yeah, it's incredible. Okay, we'll just put this up. I won't play the trailer, but it is great. I've never seen this movie. I have not you need seen to watch this, this movie. This it's, movie is great. But um, it makes fun of everything. Yeah, Let's it's just, basically it it, yeah. yeah, it's just great and then um, I don't want to play too much on this, but it's basically they have puppets Oh, how cute. <laughs> yeah. That's really cute. There's romance. There's action. There's politics. Freedom. There's freedom. There's, freedom. there's heroes. There's villains. Um, there's laughs. There's sadness. Everything you want out of a movie. There's every, it oh, has yeah. everything. Oh, I got it. It's everything. incredible. It is. Yeah. It is. It's almost like idiocracy. Actually, yeah. It, it's amazing. That's your. That might be your homework for the until the next session that's my you next to, audio book you need to watch this it's amazing movie. Yeah. yeah it's amazing you know i was watching some of uh jujitsu grandma oh okay yeah. so tell me about that's pretty re- badass well you're smart because you're scoping your competition your future yeah <laughs> hey i wouldn't mind she's Watch a celebrity like seriously pull her up she's a celebrity no, she should be because it's very inspiring. Again, like, yeah. what's your why? Why would you do it? Dude, let's get it organized. Oh, I mean, just for fun. Did like you go gi or no gi? I go gi. You go gi? Yeah, yeah, gi. Keep it, keep it calm. Yeah. Yeah, but with her, um, let me see if I could get some. Hey, we footage. should get uh, who is it? John Wick. What's John Wick's name? Like he's such a Keanu? great character. Yes, we should get him. Who else does jujitsu? Uh, the uh, Vin Diesel, uh, Vin Diesel, that guy, and, Demi uh, from the UK, Demi also. Lovato. Um, she just got a purple belt. Yep, Ashton what? Kutcher, hmm. Ashton Kutcher, yes. Ashton Kutcher, um, Kutcher. We should get all five of those. Al Bundy, he's a black belt in uh, Married Children. He's a black belt. No, he's not. He no, is. that was in the show. No, no he that's is. in the. <laughs> I am going to look that up. Do you guys not know that? <laughs> Oh my gosh! It's okay. in the show. I am so going to make. He's you also a football like, player. <laughs> scored four touchdowns yeah. in one game. <laughs> he could sell shoes, dude. Al Bundy black belt. Watch this. Oh, that's um, <laughs> Tom Hardy. Oh, Tom, yeah. yeah, Tom Hardy. Dude, he's jacked too. Okay, Who? bring up. Let me see. Up. Let me see. Let me see. Is Ed, he a black belt? No way. He's a black. Belt. Not a black belt. Great. Wait, who? Under Horian, wow. He's legit. Wow. No, no, no. That's yes. That's that's not jujitsu black belt. That's uh, BJJ black belt. No, that's uh, Al Bundy. That see, that's him right there. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, he's a black belt. He, he, cool. We should organize him. He's been doing um, jujitsu for more than twenty years, I believe. Oh, that's hilarious. Does he compete still? So? I don't know. But I would man, love if you're to see him if you're a, um one to three percent who start jujitsu reach the holy grail of a black belt. That is not a lot. How much? One to three percent according to this article. How, lo- says, how long ago did he get his black belt? Oh, I'll have to look that up. But they say um it, right here I think it's interesting. This is actually a lower percentage number than those who make it through a hell week for Navy SEALs. Dang. Percentage wise, yeah. hmm. how many people actually sign up to? Right. Oh yeah. See, like see how, see how set. they s- sample set. Yeah. See how they spun that. Like, oh wow. Yeah. No, 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 no. I I, uh, I do a little bit of like data work, <laughs> and it's really easy to spin spin yeah. stories that way. Oh yeah. It's it. Uh, that's that's you spin everything. Yeah. 
it's horrible and people fall for it too like mainstream oh, yeah. media oh, and yeah. yeah, i'm not even gonna get into that but i do have a question so who would you uh who would you love if you know dream come true who would you love to roll with oh that's a good question anybody in history well, jujitsu. Anybody alive? Uh, a celebrity, actually. Hold on. Let, let, let me, <laughs> Abraham let me. Lincoln. Do they, do they have to be alive? <laughs> no, because I have some good ones if they if they if they're not alive. No, 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 no. They, they have, have to, to be, be current celebrities. Current li currently current, alive. Currently okay. alive. Okay. God, I really had. A <laughs> I don't know. I you know. I had a, I had to really um, get details. Michelangelo. On that. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> he did jujitsu. <laughs> no. <laughs> Socrates, right? <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> oh, she was a purple belt. <laughs> she a purple belt. God took her from us. Oh, God bless God. her. R.A.P. Tupac. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Biggie. Biggie, Biggie Smalls. Smalls. No. Um, Could you mention mm. his top pressure game, though? Dude. <laughs> hey, you know what? As long as the technique is not good bring it yeah, probably you could probably work with it yeah <laughs> i don't know there's a certain size limit to that i think technique oh no no, no. we we out, had right? we had a guy he was a little over 300 pounds and this gym no this gym? Uh, gym. back in uh san jose mm -hmm. he lost oh i love him so much he lost so much weight good for him he dropped down to like uh two like 230. Oh, he wow. lost wow. like a whole person wow. there but when he started Oh my God, the pressure was crazy. It's hard to get out. Yeah, yeah, but you just hip escape. <laughs> <laughs> back, back, it all comes back. And one of my the gyms, escape. there was a guy yeah. three hundred. Go back to one of our topics today. He was on me. I couldn't move, and he had this weird. He's trying to do some type of um, inverted triangle, and he actually ripped one in my face. That's why I'm very offended by it. What? He, and everyone heard it, and it was right in my see? face. See, see, I yeah. was. Did upset you taste it? did you he taste felt it? bad like he jumped off and goes <laughs> <laughs> so it was an accident it was he felt bad i said yeah i get it but it felt like a nuclear blast on my face it was just it was scarred me do you know i would pretend to feel bad if i farted in somebody's face too <laughs> you pretend it was, oh, it was so, so loud like, he jumped off of it, me and, the, it. and people were rolling like oh my god and i'm just like grabbing my face because i'm like <laughs> it's like you got sprayed it's by in, a skunk it's, in, it's like mace it's in your lungs already what are you gonna do yeah. you're gonna scrape it out of your Okay, you so, you know, hey, like, when look the at the kind of, look at the farts that he's creating here. It's Guinness, lean, lean body. Lean body. Yeah, okay, I don't want someone's, I tell, I tell people this, I don't want you fire around me because I'm, something's coming out of you and it's entering my lungs and then becomes part of me. <laughs> Scientifically. It stays yeah, with you. Uh, it stays yeah, with you. Yeah. Because part of your mighty, m mitochondria. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gets into well, your blood. It, it gets, gets into it, your blood yeah, because your, it's going to circulatory goes, system, yes. right? Circulatory. Yeah. So if you smell someone's fart, part of them coming out of is them well, you. Hold is on, in you. Hold on. Hold on. Is a fart part of yes. the person who farted it? Yes. Yes. It is. Well, it's yes. a part of what they're producing, which is it's part of their poop. It's a poop. Their cloud. waste. Oh, yeah. is there DNA in poop? Oh, God. okay. Al yeah, Bundy just sure. so the for sure. um, the listening. Audience, 16 years. Mm. Interesting thing about DNA poop. Uh, <laughs> do you know what they're doing now? This is crazy. Listen no, to this. No, don't say dinosaurs from DNA no. poop. Apartment complexes, okay? Uh -huh. Because there's so much rampant people not picking up their dog's poop. They make you submit a poop sample before you move in of oh. your pet. And if they find an abandoned poop in a you know shared area and you know, a play area, whatever, they get it tested to see who's the owner and then they fine you for it. Yeah, there's there's DNA and poop. <laughs> Thanks. Damn. <laughs> I'm trying to help people. I didn't know. Damn. It's a serious thing. So like swanky apartment complexes will do that now. They'll request some poop sample of your pets. Wouldn't it be less expensive to just hire a service to pick it up? If it's that swanky, I think it's, I think it's, uh, I'm just, I think it's a, a kind of a power move, right? Like Ooh. pick up your dog's poop, dude. Like, you know, everybody in their power. Yeah. 
you know? Well, it's just rude, you know. You it is. Head, it, it is rude. You know, yeah. it, it's, and then why aren't, I mean, come on now. There's an article here, too, and this is just me. I kind of went down a rabbit hole. They were able to take DNA from mouse fecal matter and clone mice off of that. Wow. What did he say? <laughs> what did you say? They were able to clone uh, a mouse from its fecal matter. So theoretically, with advanced technology, when you take a poop, they could clone you off your poop. <laughs> no. Do Imagine you know, a world <laughs> where you have to um, protect your DNA by getting rid of your poop a certain way. And they could steal your DNA and then yeah. find things about you. And That's probably what the Chinese are doing right and now. Make, yeah, That's a spy yeah. balloon. That's what the spy balloon was, was for. picking up poop. <laughs> <laughs> has a big old dog poop scooper attached to it. <laughs> Robotic Like car. one of those like toy <laughs> <laughs> games that you play at the carnival. They're going back and oh just, my gosh. They're, they're flying around like top military leaders. They got poop freaking. poop. What are the weaknesses? They got poop goggles. It's all do 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 Can you imagine boop, the labs boop, that be right in there boop, too? And um, imagine going oh your whole gosh. life studying in like you know, Beijing University, and you want to be a top scientist, and you get stuck on poop control. On poop detail. <laughs> poop detail. <laughs> poop. I, need you, I need you to clone this. <laughs> poop research. This is a matter of national security. This I is need a, you to go pick this up. This is the highest priority for our... <laughs> Forget cyber warfare. Anything you, Forget. Anything, anything you want, I'll do, sir. Forget <laughs> Air Force superiority. We're picking up poop. This sounds like a high priority. What do you need me to do, sir? Analyze poop. I'm there. I'm there. I hate poop. Poop is one of the worst things. I freak out about poop. You know, movie theater seats have a lot of amount of fecal matter from people farting too. Really? I I don't oh, know if I'd buy my that. Gosh, I'm looking at too. No, 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 no. Yes. Well, are they bare? The are they bare? But farting? So no, it goes through your so, clothes. Yeah, but the old ones, the old like plush velvet or whatever mm. cushions are absorbing. I could, uh, yeah, but. The new ones, they're all... They're kind of leathery, leather, right? Yeah. 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 They wipe them down. They wipe dude. them. They wipe them down. Yeah, but you got kids making, what, five bucks an hour, ten bucks. How 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 detailed are so you? So bring your own them? wipes. <laughs> <laughs> BYOW, boy. <laughs> We're having a BYOW party. I actually saw that. People came in and they had their... Um, the wipes and they wipe it we, down the seats. Before. We did it. I did it. I did it a couple of times. I'm like not. height of COVID, my uh, oh yeah, COVID. But family, yeah. we were like, I would wiping down a lot of stuff. Did you guys stop training during COVID? I, I didn't do jujitsu during mm. COVID, um, but I didn't stop wrestling. I did do a lot of like right. coaching and stuff. Okay, yeah. okay. I I decided to stop because what happened with my job? Just well, how happened? To, I didn't want to bring it to a gym, and I did. My in laws live next door to me, and I just. Did not train yeah. for two years. Did you do that oh. in the during the Spanish flu as well? Oh gosh! Are we so tell us about that? the Spanish the flu. Spanish flu. Of the <laughs> like, 19, was it worse than COVID? <laughs> you know what's worse than that was the Black Death. <laughs> <laughs> that the was scary. Those the damn plague, rats. The, you know the black, how hard the plague. Black plague. Yeah, plague. Plague. you know how black hard death. Black Death. Well, you know how hard it was what to keep was those rats Spanish out of your little like hut. What about the bubonic? What about the bubonic? bubonic we don't even talk about we're, it, dude. I lost an uncle over that. That's personal. The Spanish flu was 1918. Dude, I was trying to avoid the war and the flu. It's a hard time for us. You make fun of that. Did you guys have muskets at that time? <laughs> dude, loading those things as people advance on you, you have to be focused. Oh, yeah. You cannot... I could load a musket in one minute and 12 seconds on a good day. <laughs> loading up those That's wads. That's pretty fast. <laughs> you like those. Loading up those wads. You like that. Yeah, those wads. You, that's why you're good. Could you, and could you imagine, um, war is horrible, but could you imagine, like, what would be the worst type of war? Would it be like the nights when you have, like, battle axes and mm. swords? Would it be muskets? Would it be just in today's war? Or the war of the future where you go out there and there's robots, like Terminator Blazers. fighting? Like, what would be the worst type of war to fight in? The scariest. Ooh. I think the robots. The artificial intelligence. Really? 
Yeah, I don't know that medieval that medieval stuff. Dude, like, but no, just but people hacking each other. But it's about heart at that point. When you got AI, woo, they're like the Boston Robotics. Yeah, I, I saw a robot. They're not supposed. Well, they're not going to add weapons, but people can buy the robots and they them. for sure are adding weapons. To that. <laughs> 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 There's no <laughs> d- d- doubt that in anyone's mind that they have mounted like, a machine gun on top of those things. Could you imagine being in some like third world country Dude. and the United States sends in a battalion of those robots oh, and ar- of oh, army dogs and with you know like robots. and you know army like, dogs yeah they're ar- yeah. they're basically yeah. they don't have army to be, dogs yeah yeah the the person the human the standing human like yeah they ain't got to be bipedal yeah that's right? all visuals yeah. no you put them on four boom but just the mental warfare of having a bunch of them painted in a certain way of like skulls and stuff and led lights and music and they're doing backflips i think they're more scary not painted will they bark i don't care but imagine they're doing backflips and buzz, all that stuff. Buzz. You know, you know, like you see in the movies, they're like yelling across the thing, like a Viking says, oh! But these guys are doing like triple flips in the air, the robots. I don't think they need to do any yeah. of that stuff to Dude. intimidate. Just a slow march. Like, well, you don't even need, you don't even know it's there. You're done. Yeah. You, you're not even going to say what happened. You can have sniper dog robots yeah and then you could sh- you can spot them and you could shoot at them and the and bullets, they won't miss yeah no the bullets bounce They'll off just bounce off because they're all titanium yeah. oh when you shoot them yeah yeah so then that's when you got to get the uh the atman suit and you got to go <laughs> subatomic go in and <laughs> go in and we're attacking them from the inside i would i Call would Paul send Rudd. in my pilots we and we drop in. dog biscuits all over the place to distract them <laughs> Milk bones. Cyber dog biscuits. Cyber dog explosive <laughs> milk bone biscuits. <laughs> oh no, but that gosh. is scary. We're laughing about it, but holy smokes. Terminate the Terminator. Terminator. They don't need to be on real, dude. two feet. Yeah, two, yeah. I don't know why they want to make them like a, a person. Into, you know, two, they, I don't know what that's called. Because that's, I don't think they're making those for necessary military purposes. They're making those because our world is designed for bipedal humans bipedal. to like pedal walk around oh, that's, yeah. a, that's, a, that's a fancy, fancy word, word so would you be bipedal. comfortable like maybe in your lifetime i won't be around to see it because back in my day but would you be okay when we have a life when you have one of those things around the house like an assistant yeah i've seen too many black mirror shows and movies horror movies where the robots are like they become like aware. it's going to be part of your well, it's going to be part of our lives like well, you become attached to it too yeah, yeah like but a, what if they what if they decide we don't like this anymore. It's our turn. AI. Terminator. I'm telling you. And then what do we do? Matrix. <laughs> See, I got. We need I got, Morpheus. I got. <laughs> Call up Morpheus. No. I got movies for and answer. Trinity. Movie and we're going <laughs> to. You're screwed, answers. though, because what do you do? Yeah, that's, that's you, Morpheus. You, that's. I think humans are creative enough to get through challenges like that. I don't think that'll become a serious challenge. We have to call Elon Musk. <laughs> oh, Lord. Tell him to uh, help us uh, end. Tw- tweeting is not going to help us uh, <laughs> get through that. Hey, guys, how's that robot war going? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> getting, getting rid of half of uh, Twitter's remaining staff. Maybe that'll help the next. You AI think a revolution. robot war is bad? Try, try Twitter getting, try getting laid off by Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> try a Twitter war with Elon. Oh my gosh, Elon Musk. No, that AI, that AI stuff is. Have you guys played around with the like chat yeah. GBT yeah. stuff, yeah. dude? Yeah, it is crazy i don't even want to know i i asked it to like just no. testing it out i asked it to write a song it's about like, um i think uh like planting like planting plants in the garden or something <laughs> and it made like a three stanza song all perfectly rhyming with like crazy different interesting things to it. i'm like wow this this thing is it's gonna like take over yeah all content creation yeah and the thing that i'm worried about is you have and then that's a thing actually in education right now where kids are using it to create <laughs> papers and, and uh, yeah. Hey, I wanted to ask you actually, that's a great topic. Um, as a teacher, 
mm -hmm. you know, kind of embedded in the whole teaching process, right? Number one, what's the sentiment that teachers have around stuff like this? And uh, like, what is their action plan to kind of combat right some of now? This? There's not, there's just a lot of frustration. Um, because from what I understand, you could just say, Hey, I would like to compare this Shakespearean play to this modern day movie in terms of this, and it can write it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I think the teachers, because they tend, in my humble opinion, to be behind current technology. It's just like I remember when uh, overhead projectors came out in businesses, and then it came to education after. Whiteboards came out in businesses and education. Uh, PowerPoint, and then it came to education. It's like we get the hand-me-downs. So um, we'll be behind in terms of technology. But a quick workaround, in my opinion, is you, you just ha would have to do live learning. Live learning, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which isn't so, a bad thing. I like that. But in terms of using, but my thing also as an educator is that's a tool. How is that any different than a calculator? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I want them to know the ideas. I want them to be able to do math on their own. But there's some math things you don't have to do. There's spreadsheets, yeah. like, oh, right. don't do a spreadsheet. So there's yeah. some technology, like with the computers. Back in my day, you had to go to the library and do microfish, yeah. you know. But so some of it could be like, okay, maybe use this as a tool for something. But in terms of your own development, we need to see that you have that skill level. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I feel like, um, you know, and I, I, obviously I can't speak for like all teachers, right? But there's a, a degree of like, comfort that you get with, you know, your lesson plan and the type of assignments that you give. And if you've mm -hmm. been teaching, you know, a certain subject for 20 years, yes, right. And you got, you know, five years left until you retire or something, right. Um, or whatever, right. 10 years to, left till you retire. Maybe you don't want to learn a whole new thing or maybe you don't want to change your lesson plan, but, but how's that any different? And I know. don't know about your world and software, like you have Python and then you have different types of software. Ooh. And if you don't, change with the times oh, no, we have we have to change yeah exactly yeah. Change. Or, or well what about uh ai chat gtp uh, gbt uh writing code writing code i'm i'm all for it i'm excited about that actually. right because it makes things easier yeah. so now you can focus on more creative stuff yeah. yeah it's when it starts creating yeah like being that creative mind but i don't think but I don't you think can make the can. same argument it's when creative the okay so here's one thing it's creative based off of all of the data that it has access to, right? right? So everything that's been created before, it can kind of manipulate that stuff, which in defense of, you know, humanity, that's kind of what we're doing too, right? right. How much really, truly original stuff are we coming up with? We're kind of building on top of, you know, what other people are doing and we're kind of adding our own flavor to it. And that's what a lot of this AI stuff is doing too, right? kind of taking what's existing and then kind of mixing stuff in a creative way until it finds something that works. So. Yeah, it, and I was thinking, you know, throughout history, there's the same arguments, whether it's like the printing press or the Morse code or... Chimney sweepers, right? Chimney sweepers, but you know, from there's... Your, from there's your time, a, I remember. You know how much I can make chimney sweeping more than I make teaching. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there's... Probably now, yeah. Probably now, yeah. There has to be, yeah. Because everybody's programming, everybody's working on, you know, mm -hmm. office yeah. settings. So you're the only chimney sweeper still alive mm -hmm. from that <laughs> era, Man, dude. I have to basically <laughs> scale this job because I need some help because there's a lot of chimneys out here right now that need sweeping. Chat GBT, bro. Chat, need, yeah. to, <laughs> yeah. need to get integrate AI into hey, your can chimney we sweeping. add my link in there for people who want to hire me to clean the chimneys? Yeah, absolutely. Shameless plug. <laughs> Joe Chimney. Joe Chimney. <laughs> Chimney. The Chimney. Joe Chimney. Dot com. But it's it's one of those things no, where it's not an actual website. Just like in fast food restaurants, you can <clears throat> go to Taco Bell, um, mm -hmm. great Mexican food, by the way, and then you self order, and now the <laughs> oh, comedic timing. I like that. that and and so people now, Taco Bell's not Mexican. Food. Taco is a Spanish word. Mexican word, correct? Okay. And bell is short. And for when I go to Taco Bell, I see words like bello. enchilada, burrito, taco. So what kind of food is it? Mexican pizza. 
<laughs> Mexican pizza is a hybrid fusion. We went over this, where you're taking the best of Italian food and you're mixing it with Mexican food. And there was an outcry. I could bring that up. The, the Mexican pizza <laughs> was taken from Taco Bell and they brought it back. The best of Italian food is the shape of the pizza, the circular thing. I'm probably going to get the one only of those on the way thing home, that it takes. You know, Mexican pizza is so good. You know what offends me about Taco Bell? I'll tell you what offends me. That you really like it and you don't no, want a minute? No, no, no. I don't like the food. But they took away the chihuahua. Yo quiero taco mm. bell. Oh, but it's like back in my day, got milk. You know, the old lady. I mean, it's just evolution. You don't remember the got milk commercials, the old yeah. lady? Yeah. Yeah. So why did, wait, why did those get like removed? Those were funny. Cause, because it was, it was old just, people shaming. I think they just. <laughs> What? I think they, How? I think they had an ad campaign and it ran for like ten or fifteen years or you something. Bring it, it back forever. Got yeah. milk. You could bring it back. That would that would actually be kind of neat to see. Yeah, she's probably got not milk. around anymore, but you could have like another version of it, just like got milk. Shit, yeah. my my kid drinks so much milk. I swear, is milk making a comeback? Mil he Dude. drinks like milk a was, carton. A lot of people didn't like milk it for changes. a long time. It's such there a There was like pendulum. 15 years where people were like doing almond milk. Oh, no, and, no, no. Uh, this, kid, with this kid's milk, organic, 100% organic, n whatever, 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 horizon or freaking expensive. <laughs> And he, ju he, he he's 14. It sounds like the right? Avion water thing. He's for No, it's Fiji. Fiji. Okay? Fiji. Careful. Fiji, Fiji. Fiji milk. Fiji milk. Okay. So, so he just drink guzzles it. Just go, 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 How go, much go, does it cost for one of those? Milk? It's like eight bucks or something. He just something guzzles like it in one no. shot. Okay, really? Four, four like bucks. Four bucks. Yeah, but yeah. still, that's a lot for a little thing of milk. Isn't well, yeah, it? that's a, a lot carton. of milk. That's a carton. A carton? Yeah, yes. Not a gallon. Really? Not a gallon. The carton. The you know the. I, don't know. I must have not been. Let's see. Pull, I, I, let's pull that out. Jay, let's pull that out. H E B organic milk. Fiji. Fiji, Fiji organic milk. horizon, horizon. But then speaking on like how it changes, like eggs are bad. Now they're not bad. Oh, no. Milk eggs is are bad. Good. And milk they're is just expensive now. And it goes back and forth. Like, what do you believe? You know, it's Oops. funny you say that mm. eggs like I thought they were expensive, but they never really changed. Uh, I asked Laura because she does the shopping. I saw I go, them get expensive. I saw them get more well, expensive. Well, which eggs? Right. Because mm. we get the organic. Uh, the These eggs. <laughs> These nuts. <laughs> Damn, I know. <laughs> I I've been good for the whole. You've thing. been good for like a whole yeah. hour, dude. This is so I hard that one right up. now. This is so like I'm like ah, uh, my filter. What eggs? What eggs? God, sorry. But but yeah, those Dark. they never. Yeah, so I those asked, were expensive. I asked Laura. Already. Yeah, they were expensive okay. already, okay. and they never changed. They're organic. They're oh my god, whatever, four whatever. bucks on the milk. Yeah, how much? Like, how much? Or HEB organics lactose free reduced. It's four. Oh no, that's no, get, and that's like not a even normal milk. Yeah, okay. Just Normal milk or fish? Horizon. Just, search just there. right there. Right there. Right there. Just oh my God. You're already there. You're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. I'm going to search it on my phone. I'm going to find it faster. You're such a software guy. <laughs> I'm a software guy. I can't software wait. guy. I can't oh, right there, right there. To the right. To the right. Where this it says one? Walmart. The red one. The red one. Here? See? Right. I told you. Oh, my God. That's expensive. Yeah. That's at Walmart. Five forty seven. Yeah. Five forty seven. For half a gallon. I told you. Kid, you're not drinking milk. I grew up on powdered milk. That was horrible. We would get it because yeah, I was it a is. military brat. Yeah, you yeah. You go get to that. and because we, for boys you can't keep milk, so you just make. I yeah, remember right. I'd be talking to like my friends and my mom like, "You got to make milk," and like, "How do you make milk?" So embarrassing. And so, you get these. Ugh. So that's because it's organic. That's what makes that super Wait, expensive. Wait, look at this. Is it organic? Or, what, what's the all milk's organic, dude? Yeah. No. Well, no. There's because look, the, there's a difference. normal gallon, okay, a normal gallon for y'all who don't drink organic milk is three dollars and fifty two cents. God. Okay, for a whole mm. gallon. It's like a gallon of gas. Right. <laughs> Not in California. Uh, we could talk about that another time. Oh damn! Speaking of, we're getting there. Yep, actually, we are. Are we there? Yep, we're there. I lost track of time. Me too. Do we want to? This was so much fun. Two beers. Two beers. Yeah, two beers. Two beers. This is the two beers episode. That's the title of the mm. two beers episode. Two beers. Oh. So two and a half. 
so real quickly, some things we talked about, pickle beer, jiu-jitsu grandma, help me with recap, beer. Jiu-jitsu grandma, you know, oh, I would love to roll with, uh, I think it would be John Wick. Mm. He's oh, very Keanu, close. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Keanu. I he think he's close to my weight. His mm. ass. No. He's like a blue belt, maybe. Is he? Oh, then he's yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly why. And you're a sandbag <laughs> blue belt. Exactly. Could you imagine why? kicking some somebody's I think, ass. I think he could have a top notch training camp though, and he might bring it to you. Oh, so there would be mm. a training camp before it happened. Yeah, it's not like okay. It's not like challenge him on the street. Yeah. Right. Oh. Are you gonna challenge him on the street? No, no. We just go. Yeah. Just hey, like a celebrity fight thing. Yeah, well, not a celebrity because I'm not a celebrity. Right? Televised. You will be. Keep Ooh, it up. Yeah. Look at that face. Gosh. <laughs> For me, real quickly before I go, um, who would I want to roll with? So it has to be someone that does jujitsu. I think it should be. No. Anybody. Yeah. No. Would really? Oh, you want to do something? Mm. Someone that's alive now, or? Yeah. <laughs> you already went through. I, this. I, I, I'm sorry. I have mine. My, my I have mine. Demi. Demi. Lovato, Lovato. I was thinking about that, but then it wouldn't be challenging. It'd be too like um, could, she would kick your ass. She's a purple belt, dude. Mine I, is. I would not be nice. Mario Lopez. Mario oh, Lopez. Saved by the bell. Yeah, I really forgot cool. about him. Yeah, he, he looks BJJ, really good for his age and too. And he looks good. And he and like, he's good looking. looks like he trains a lot. And he's good looking. That'd be good. What if he farted on you? Would you be okay? <laughs> hey, he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh Mario Lopez, it, give me oh, that Mario. essence. You're just like, oh, you're Saved drawing it all bell. in. Give me, give me all your bell. DNA. <laughs> Saved by the aroma. Hurry, clone it. Pull the, pull the fart DNA out of my bio. Let's clone one. <laughs> Get the geneticist. Bring him in. <laughs> Um, Johnny, this. we know that you have some of um, this is very important Mario Lopez's DNA and splice it with mine. <laughs> I want <laughs> Mario Lopez, baby. Uh, yeah, I do Mario Lopez. Ma no, no. What? <laughs> In jujitsu, roll. No, no. In jujitsu, <laughs> you would roll with. Okay, I Mario got Lopez. Lopez. In a jujitsu match, <laughs> I'm a big surfer fan, as you can see. Um, Kelly Slater is an idol, mm. best surfer of all time. He mm. does jujitsu. That'd be kind of cool. And and the cool thing I can imagine with someone like Kelly Slater, it would be like a fun role too. We probably could hang out, do something like this afterwards. You know? Yeah. Now you're reaching. Now you're reaching. Just well, a role. Well, That's again, like, and we can talk about this later. It's just jujitsu draws certain types of people, but then yeah. I also think jujitsu creates a certain type of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. I concur. Yeah. See. Good call. Cool, cool, cool. All right. It looks like uh PGA a PGA podcast. That's in. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Boom. Let me see. Let me see your uh P El Pinchy Podcast Flex. Yeah, yeah. El Pinchy Podcast Flesh. I'm gonna get a cramp. Flesh. Yeah. Flesh. Where's your Flex? Oh, I like oh. that. Orle, 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 orle. And then sound? we got the ah! <laughs> All right, and on that note. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. This was a lot of fun. As you can tell, we have a lot of fun next next week. Let's see. We're going to bring um, maybe a different kind of – I got it. We're going to find a craft beer. Yeah. Not an IPA. I'm going to stay away from my IPA. not drinking farty beer, dude. But we're going to do like a nice yeah. – maybe a nice um, – I mean, amber. Yes. There's a lot of craft amber, amber around here. Yes. Yeah. I'm not Red horn. With that. I, yeah. I got it. I got okay. it. All right. Peace out. Peace out. Be safe. We out.